Today's video is called Like Noah. Welcome to Bible Wisdom. My name is Ben. And, um, you know, we have to be like Noah in a few different ways. Um, Noah, it says that he was moved by godly fear or by fear um, to build the ark. And there's a great movie that I recommend. It's actually a play. It's actually a recording of a play that is done by Sight and Sound Ministries. Sight and Sound Ministries. And it's called Noah. Uh, and I really recommend that. You can find it on Amazon Prime. Um, and then I, I'm i not sure if YouTube has clips of it. Or you can buy it on YouTube or rent it on YouTube. But, you know, Noah... Um, he was found to be blameless in his generation or another word for blameless is perfect and God wants us to be presented to him in blamelessness and so excuse me we have to we have to be blameless you know and that means we confess our sins you know when we are we keep a clear conscience before God our conscience is that voice in our head that convicts us or that kind of, uh, uh, you know, tells you that, oh, I did something wrong. And it brings it up to your mind, to your remembrance, like, oh, you cut that person off. Like, you get this kind of feeling in your head, like, ooh, that was sinful. Or uh, uh, it just reminds you of something that you've done wrong or that you need to do. Or it could, it could, your conscience could tell you something that you need to do, like, oh, you need to call that person, you know, you need to call them up, and it could be on your mind. Now, the Bible says that we could have a dead conscience, not Christians necessarily, but a Christian who um, is not living according to the Bible, who is sinning repetitively, repetitive, repetitively and um you know is in sin or um not necessarily uh, a sin that you're trying to break free of but more of like you're willingly sinning and there's a difference um sometimes it does take a little bit of time to break free from a sin but through jesus we have the power to break free you know that's why jesus came to the earth was to break the power of sin and then we also um, have to confess our sins. And so what Noah did was he put his faith in Christ and we have to do what the Bible says. You know, um, we have to be doers of the word of God. And how we can do that is um, the next time you're talking to someone, you can be thinking, OK, how can I love this person? Or the next time you're your a challenge is presented to you you have to realize okay what does god want me to do in this in this case um you know and then that also involves what you do in secret you know what you do when no one is around you know um are you sexually immoral are you uh lying to people are you uh stealing you know um are you ex extorting money you know um, maybe you're taking advantage of someone and you know we have the grace of God because God has extended his kindness towards us to forgive us and so you know God loves us and he wants us to have a better life and so Noah you know uh, it's a great story and he built the ark and what that ark did was it carried him above the waters and through the judgment that came and so like Noah for this video means that God has already pronounced a judgment you know but just like Noah it didn't happen until I think it's a hundred plus years um, uh, I was gonna say 120 but it was a hundred plus years until uh, the judgment actually came the flood which was the judgment and so like Noah is that 
God has pronounced a judgment and we don't need to really get into that. You know about it. But um, what we need to do is repent of our sins. You know, we acknowledge them. We uh, confess our sins to God that, you know, hey, uh, what I did was wrong. And then um, another good thing to do is continue in the word of God. You know, um, we have to endure hardship. You know, um, sometimes there's situations in our life that are kind of unpleasant. And in those cases, we pray, we, we ask God to help us. And, um, you know, there's a great parable that Jesus talks about how, um, you know, he, there was two servants. Um, one went up to the temple to pray. The one servant was a Pharisee and he prayed and he was like, God, you know, thank you so much. I, uh, I don't send like all these other people over here. I, t I give tithe of my money. You know, I, uh, fast twice a week. You know, I uh, do all these good things and I'm I'm even better than this guy right here who was a tax collector. And he's basically saying, oh, I'm, I'm even better than my neighbor. And so the the tax collector went up to the temple and he prayed to God and he was like, God, forgive me. I'm a sinner, you know. And so the moral of the story is. God wants us to recognize what we are doing wrong and and recognize our need for God, even when we're doing going when it's going well for us. You know, we have to really still be lowly. You know, uh, God doesn't want someone proud, but lowly, meaning you're not thinking highly of yourself. Um, that could be in what you where you choose to live. Uh, that could look like maybe what type of car you drive like of course you know you can have a nice car but necessarily uh, are you going above and beyond like you are you buying a Mercedes versus versus a brand new Jeep or Ford you know are, are you buying a Maybach you know uh, or uh, you know the house that you buy like if, if there's just two people in your family or four people in your family, you know, are you buying a huge mansion when it's not really necessary? If you could just buy a four bedroom house that is a nice modern house. So those are examples of lowly lowliness is also in your in how you conduct yourself. You know, um, are you proud? Like, oh, I'm so good at this. You know, oh, I'm so I'm the best at this, you know. And like thinking like that, uh, that is an example of pride or, um, you know, always trying to be first or always trying to reach the top. You know, yes, we should always try to do everything in the best way, you know, and God is, you know, highly exalted. But, you know, God is also lowly. You know, Jesus said that, you know, he is lowly in heart. And then. Um, you know, let's seek for peace, you know, let's be peaceful people in these last days, you know, um, we don't know how long it's going to be, you know, um, and we'll get a picture of it, but, um, you know, let's be peaceful people, meaning try to keep the peace with your neighbor, you know, with your spouse, you know, oh, they want to uh, move to Florida. Well, consider it, you know, or, oh, they want to, uh, your spouse wants to, uh, you know, return the couch and buy a different one. Well, consider it, you know, or, you know, um, they want your, your son or daughter to go to a certain school instead of the one that you're sending them to you know, try to keep the peace with the people in your life. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that you choose to be like Noah 
in your day um, and that God wants us to be blameless you know don't continue in your sins when you don't need to you know um, and then we also we need to work on loving God you know how can we love God today how can we maybe um, you know spend time reading the Word of God there's a great uh, YouTube audio Bible um, it's the what is it it's called the ESV uh, Bible audio video and basically it shows on YouTube you can if you get YouTube on your TV um, you can bring up the Bible and it will be an audio version and it will also be written word on there and so you know it's important that we um, you know make sure we're uh, doing what God says and he knows how to deliver us when we need to be delivered like Lot he gave the example of Lot like Noah you know but he can only deliver us if we are blameless you know of course we all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so it's I've heard it explained that you know even if you aren't blameless we still go we all go to heaven you know but um, you don't want there to be consequences you know um, I've heard it explained that um, in the Bible that it says that if you do certain things you won't inherit the kingdom of God like um, uh, adultery fornication you know uh, homosexuality extortion you know uh, just it goes through a list and you can find that list in your Bible um, and it says there won't be an inheritance you won't inherit the kingdom of God so um, there's no need to continue in your sins and um, anyway hope you found this video helpful you can check out my website washye.com I also have grownwisdom.com uh, and it's a website uh, kind of like a how-to website for things that are not in the Bible like uh, how to rent an apartment or how to uh, you know buy a house or different things like that so uh, all right I'll talk to you on the next video today is uh, November 4th about 530 as I'm making this but it takes a little bit of time to upload the video so all right see ya